Now, meteorologist Cameron Saliga and your Storm Team 2 forecast. Well, today, another beautiful one. Lots of sunshine out there on your Sunday and temperatures getting into the 80s above average today. 83 degrees was your high. Three degrees above that average. Our overnight low getting down to 58 degrees. A little bit below average. No rainfall today. A beautiful day outside. Our severe weather outlook, though, as we go near Monday, as we expect a cold front to move through later in the nighttime tomorrow and into your Tuesday morning. We do have a marginal risk, mainly for the uh, majority of the area, with the exception of the southeastern portion of of the Miami Valley. That is where we see a marginal risk for the main threat of damaging winds, but also heavy rainfall embedded in a line of thunderstorms that will be moving through as we go into your afternoon and evening tomorrow. Your highs on Monday here in the lower to mid 80s, 86 here in Dayton up north, 83 Troy, 82 for Sydney, 83 for Wapakoneta. Hour by hour as we start our day off right around 70 degrees at 8 in the morning time going through the daytime. We see those temperatures on the rise in the upper 70s by noon as we get into the afternoon the 80s by 2 o'clock and we see chances of showers and thunderstorms arriving later into the afternoon isolated as we go early in the afternoon but more scattered going later and in eventually into the evening hours we'll see those temperatures falling off as we do see some rain cool there also cloudy conditions as that rain starts to move on through live output to issue all quiet here in the miami valley that's going to continue as we go through the next 12 hours to 18 hours until we get to the afternoon tomorrow. As we zoom on out, there is that system that's going to be pushing eastward, that cold front as it eventually moves here into the Ohio Valley. That'll start to move on through and we'll bring and see that chance of rain and thunderstorms increasing. Right now here in uh, Dayton, 74 degrees, your current temperature, the wind southeast at 10 miles per hour, the dew point in those lower 50s. And around the area, temps in the lower 70s for the most part, we see 72 Urbana, Troy, Greenville, 73 for Xenia, Springboro, up north in Minster at 74 and Wapakoneta at 73. Precip chances over the next four days. They do dwindle though as we get in the midweek, right around 30% on your Wednesday and 20% on your Thursday. Now, as we tra track this out on future track through the nighttime, we see those clouds on the rise. We should stay dry. This I know this model does have some rain early on in the daytime, but we should stay dry early on. Eventually, we see some uh, showers and thunderstorms uh, starting to form just off to the western parts of Indiana as that cold front does approach. Eventually, we start to see that moving on in here into the Miami Valley around 4 or 5 o'clock, and we could see some heavy rain embedded in that, and we could easily get over an inch, and we could have some localized flooding as this starts to move on through. Also, some damaging winds are possible before this eventually does move on out that severe threat as we go through the evening time. Rain showers and thunderstorms continue through your Monday night. Your uh, lawn mowing forecast as we get into that work week, we see those temperature or that uh, that lawn mowing forecast fair early on into the work week. But as we get into the midweek, that's where we see a good shot of getting that uh, lawn mode. Tonight, our low gets down to 63 degrees, partly cloudy skies, and your high tomorrow, 86, with those showers and thunderstorms into the afternoon. Seven-day forecast as we go through the week, we see those temperatures dropping down back into the 70s as we go to the second half of the week, and chances of thunderstorms return as we go into your weekend. Riley?